Hello everybody and welcome back. Last episode we did crafting <laughs> and right now I think we are done. Um, I don't want to talk about it this episode. There's more things that I need to clarify and share with you but um, and there's a couple of things that I would like to do today and uh, it depending on how that goes um, you know I've got a long list of all the systems and all the activities that you can do. Now she's level 10 so obviously she's not going to have access to a lot of the things yet that I'd like to share. But the first thing that I'd like to get uh, done is I had explained previously about collecting your own familiars which will give you benefits as you play no matter what class you are. Um, now you can buy them off the marketplace, you can find them in the wild, but there's also a daily quest that you can do and you can pick up a random familiar so you can get the whole collection. So we're going to head on over to South Kinos. I'm going to show you from here where you can get the daily quest for a familiar. Now on the Freeport side, I'm not sure exactly if it's North Freeport, South Freeport, East, West, which one, but uh, it's near the docks. His name would be Stuart Kress, K-R-E-S. That's who you're going to want to look for uh, in Freeport to give you the familiar daily. Now in South Kinos, we just want to come over here and talk to Stuart Aylin and he is going to start us uh, on the road to getting our familiar daily started. So I'm going to click on him. Greetings. Ah, oh, an adventurer. I'm pleased that you've taken the time to speak with me. Is that so? Well, is there something that I can help with? My name is Stuart Aylin, and I represent the conservatory a group of researchers dedicated to a rather incredible act of preservation. I'm hoping that we can count on you for some help. What is it that you're trying to preserve? Well, perhaps it would be easier to just explain. Our society has taken charge of some of the creatures from within the menagerie. It is our hope that we can learn more about the creatures that were within it and the research that took place there. The Menagerie? Miracles Collection? Is, is that what you're talking about? The same. We had made great gains in understanding Miracles' notes on bonding with familiars and were poised to make even more remarkable ones until it all came to a sudden and unexpected end. Although his notes were somewhat incomplete, it seems that he had found an even more powerful bond between familiar and handler, one that could even be formed with those who didn't practice the arts of the arcane. Truly brilliant miracle was. So you mentioned they came to an end. What, what happened? Well, there was an accident. Although I can't go into the details, um, we lost a significant portion of our housed creatures and our keep was badly damaged. So how can I help? Well, we'd like you to recover the familiars, or at the very least as many as you can, and, and return them to you? Well, not necessarily. If you find them and bond with them, that might actually be the best outcome. Given all that has happened, we can no longer keep them in a secure place. And perhaps when the best alternative is for adventurers like yourself to make sure they're kept safe. Well then what will you do? The conservatory will pick up the pieces and attempt to continue our research as best that we can. Here, this book offers some information on who we are and what we strive to do as well as provide you a good list of what creatures escape the keep. Perhaps one day we can provide some more insight to the nature of the handler and familiar relationship. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Now you won't have to go through all of that reading. 
uh, every time that you pick up the daily. It was just the initial introduction. And they gave us a book that we can put in our house. So we're going to pick up the quest. Well met. What task would that be? We're seeking creatures. Okay, I'll do it. There we go. So they've asked me to uh, collect some specimens. Now, the reward is going to be this. Uh, every day you will get this as a reward. Unpacking this item in your inventory offers one random, common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, familiar. Familiars may be sold for in-game status. So we're going to accept the quest. All right, this shouldn't take long. So our first random familiar quest, we have to capture several bovids in an empty familiar cage. The bovid is the, uh, the cows, deer, sheep, camels, things like that. And for the most part, you'll know uh, when you can um, capture them because they will have this little bag over their head. See these cows over here? Now, I'm not going to do these. I don't think I can. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> because you don't kill them. We're just going to capture them. So I'm gonna, I am going to try this. So, so you don't want to kill it, but you have to be in combat in order to capture it. It doesn't need to be damaged at all. So the best way, now what level is this? This is a, probably a level, no, you know what? I'm not going to do it because I'll probably kill it and then I'll get in trouble. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to think about, okay, where am I going to be able to find these? Now, I happen to know Antonica has a deer and such, but they're going to be possibly high level. We can go to Oak Mist. Let's try that. The same forest where we went to uh, harvest because there's deer there. And hopefully we can catch them. Uh, uh, it's hard enough to remember all of my calculations. There's quite a few different categories. There's about 12 different categories of creatures. Uh, so some of it might be difficult, which is a nice challenge. Oh, we want to go to city. So let's go back to Oak Mist. So I know there's deer there. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to get a deer if you hunt deer and capture deer. It's all random. All right, let's see if those deer will work. I'm hoping they will. If not, we're going to have to go out to Antonica, I think. See, like there's an oak mist dough. They do not have to be aggro or uh, give you XP. So they can be gray. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to hit him with my auto attack. I'm in combat. Then I'm going to click on my cage button. So I have to get 10 more. And that's all there is to it. So every daily, every familiar quest is the same. So you want to attack him. Might as well pick up the shiny while we're at it. Nice. Okay, we're going to put that in our level 10.
I think we got... Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. We'll just get these. One more. Okay. So we gathered the familiars. We got our familiar cage. Let me get over here where I'll be safe. Because grub digger, you just never know. We're gonna come over here. Okay. Once you finish completing the quest, you wanna find the familiar in your bag. And you wanna right click it and unpack it. This is what we got. We got a ticking arachnid. Now what this is, uh, <laughs> if you suffer from arachnophobia, you need not worry about this clockwork beast. Yes, it looks convincingly close to a large desert spider, but instead of skittering across the landscape on eight hairy legs, this one's propelled by clattering appendages of impenetrable metal, unremittingly following its programming. Oh, I'm not making it any better, am I? <laughs> So what he's going to do for me is he's going to increase all my attributes by 3.7%. So we're going to go ahead and accept him. And now he goes into my bag. Now what you want to do is, is add it to your collection. So you right click it and add it to your collection. So we open up our character slot, go to familiars. And there he is right there. You'll need to, to find the one. Now, I don't know if they stay all in a certain season, like right now we're in season seven, but it looks like there's a whole whole lot of them to collect. So, uh, you know, that's a good thing. <laughs> so when you, when you find one that you want to, uh, to use, you drag the icon down into the equip slot. You also need to take this Summon Familiar button and put it down on your hotbar. Now sometimes you will get uh, a familiar that you you are training and he's really good, say so he's got really good uh, attributes or whatnot, and you want to keep using him, but you don't like the way he looks. You can select another familiar that you've collected and place it in the appearance slot so it will look like you have a certain one when actually you have a different one. Um, and that's all there is to that. And now all we got to do is click on our, our summon. And there he is. So since he's a tinkered one, he's not going to eat much. And you can kind of tell that he's electrical there by just this little markings on him. So one other thing you can do, if you want to... Uh, that, that button summons him. If you want to, to de-summon him and put him away, your active spell buttons, wherever you have them on your screen, you just right click and cancel it and he will disappear. Uh, now one thing that you can do is right click on your familiar, go to pet options, and you can give him a name if you'd like. Uh, I have no idea what to call him. We'll just call him Spidey. So uh, that's that. And that's about all there is to collecting familiars. Now, uh, other than the attributes, see now my attributes went up. If I, if I put him away, see you can see they all went down. So we're going to summon him back up. There. So you do get the benefits right away. Now, I will have some other familiars once I get another AA point. Uh, and you can have a pet out. You can have a familiar out. You can have your uh, class pets out. Uh, so you, you can have quite a menagerie. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Now, uh, once you've collected quite a few familiars, you may have gotten duplicates, uh, as I mentioned earlier, and you can trade the duplicates in for status, um, or you can choose to use your duplicates to 
uh, train your familiar. Now, your familiars can go up to level 10. And each level increases their attributes and what they can do by 20%. So if you're able to train your familiar, uh, you want to find one that you really like first of all. And uh, because it is going to take a while to train them. So uh, once you have the one that you really want, then uh, you can use any other ones to, uh, I guess you want to call it, you can absorb them. Let me open up the help window. It's probably going to be better able to describe this than I can. So let's see. Under familiar. Okay. Uh, now, it's it starts right here in the help menu. It talks about leveling them. Um, now, it says that you can pick up tonics and training potions uh, during different promotions or events. Uh, but that could take a long, long time. Uh, and... Uh, there is a Yunzi Days of Summer Merchant. Uh, so I'm not sure if you need to be a member or not. But uh, if you consume a potion that you pick up from him, your, uh, your familiar immediately gets leveled by one. So uh, it says that different tonics have different restrictions on what level they can raise your familiar to. So apply them with care, it says. And I'm not... Uh, familiar with those uh, so that is one reason why I wanted to come here to the help menu because I've never gotten to that step now uh, it says here in addition to uh, the familiar training potions and tonics starting with season three familiar you will uh, be able to use the uh, familiars to level your favorite familiar so uh, you can't take one that's already in your collection so the next one I pick up, I could do this with. The amount of experience that that familiar is worth is based on the tier. So if it's common, it would be 100. If it's uncommon, legendary, it would be worth 1,000 experience. And fabled and ethereal familiars are worth even more. So you have to consume your familiar uh, that you just picked up. So... Uh, be very sure that you want to do that because once you consume it, it will be removed from your inventory and cannot be undone. So you will get this screen right here. And you want to try to get the one that you really want. As I said before, you want to pick one that has the uh, attributes that you would like and perhaps cast some kind of a buff. That is going to be really useful to you and uh, go ahead and work on leveling that one. Well, thank you for joining me today. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.